I'm Willis Kern with WGLT, Bloomington Normal's Public Media, and NPR for Central Illinois. On June 16, 1998, Barton McNeil of Bloomington, Illinois, awoke to find his daughter Christina's lifeless body in her bedroom at their modest apartment. He called 911. 911, what's your emergency? I need an ambulance. My daughter's dying, I think. A rescue is needed. Three-year-old female child, unconscious, not breathing. Christina! 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 To this day, Barton McNeil alleges it was his girlfriend, with whom he had just broken up the day before, who broke into the bedroom while he was awake surfing the internet in another room. Barton McNeil, despite the help of a public defender, was convicted in a bench trial of murdering his daughter and continues to serve time in prison nearly 20 years later. Illinois-based investigative journalist Scott Reeder, who brought you season one of Suspect Convictions detailing the 1990 death of a Quad Cities girl, is back with season two, taking a close look at Christina McNeil's murder. Did his girlfriend break in that night? There is absolutely no evidence of any forced entry, any breaking in, and according to the defendant, the only people in that house with permission were himself and Christina. And police noticed spider webs along the windowsill and on the screen. It's hard to tell what happened there, but the fact that there was a spider web there doesn't mean that somebody didn't break into that room that night through that window. Correct. That's the best conclusion we can come to with the evidence at hand. About a decade after Barton McNeil was sent to prison, details surrounding his daughter Christina's death took a strange twist when the woman he accused from day one was found guilty in connection with another murder. Jurors agreed she had killed her mother-in-law. Sook killed her husband's mother, the female that that person cared for the most. Christina McNeil was the person that Bart McNeil cared for the most. Season two of Suspect Convictions begins October 27th on WGLT at noon and 6 p.m. with new episodes each Friday. The podcast, Suspect Convictions, launches October 30th at suspectconvictions.com.